Gude and welcome to this video, which is the first episode of a new YouTube playlist I'm working on right now. And I will call this playlist Home Assistant Loves Voice. And the idea of this playlist is to provide easy to follow step by step tutorials when it comes to voice integration in the smart home solution Home Assistant. And as probably most of you already know, the last year, so 2023, has been defined the year of the voice by Home Assistant. And according to Mike, probably more like a decade of the voice is to come. And so I would like to give each voice processing component a view in each video. So text to speech, TTS, speech recognition, STT, wake word or micro wake word detection on devices, even on small compute devices, and Wyoming protocol, which keeps all the cool voice processing components together. If you like this idea and do not want to miss any videos on this series or any other videos on my channel, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, hitting that notification bell to not miss upcoming videos and give this video a thumb up. Let me know in the comments what you think on this serious ID and which topics you would like to see in this Home Assistant Loves Voice playlist. Personally, I'm a big fan of doing that voice processing technology on my local home network without any cloud dependency. But regardless if you like locally operated voice processing or cloud services, please check out the website of Nabucasa and really consider subscribing their service, which I personally did already too, because this will help to improve voice processing and the further development of Home Assistant in general. I will put a link to Nabucasa in the description box below. And to provide you with a cooking recipe like easy to follow step by step tutorial, I will start this video series with a plain and empty Home Assistant installation, which is based on a virtual box image, which you can download from Home Assistant. And I've installed and set this up on VirtualBox. And this virtual box is running on my 10 year old MacBook Pro with the following hardware specifications. So it's a MacBook Pro with 16 gigabytes of RAM, an Intel i7 core with eight cores CPU, and it's running Ubuntu 22. Dot zero 04 and the virtual box image has eight gigabytes of RAM and two virtual CPUs. And I tell you the hardware specifications so you can better relate the performance when we do voice processing in the upcoming videos. <laughs> By the end of this first episode, we have Home Assistant installed. We have some Samba add-on installed so we can access the configuration JAML with a text editor, quite simple. And we added some demo entities to play around with. And this should be all for the introduction. I hope you enjoy this video series. Please let me know in the comments. And now let's go. As you now can see, I've opened my fresh new VirtualBox image. So just the default dashboard overview. Let's see my installed version. This is this is version 2024.2.0. And first of all, as we need access to the configuration JAML, you probably have done so already because in your home assistant installation, you, I guess you have already access to the configuration. So in this case, let's install an add-on called Zamba for having SMB protocol access. Let's install it. Once installed, check the configuration. Let's have it username. Let's make it demo and password demo2. Let's save this configuration and start the add-on. So let's open my Finder on Mac and let's connect with my Home Assistant system. Connect. And uh, here you can see all the, the shares that are provided. We will take a look to the config share. Let's open this. And here we can see uh, lots of configuration files. We will need access to this directory later on if we would like to enable open SSL certificates to access microphone by using the browser. So therefore we need HTTPS configuration. 
But for now, let's just open the configuration JAML. So I use my Visual Studio Code editor, but please feel free to use the text file editor you would like to use. So as you can see, pretty simple, plain configuration JAML. And uh, first of all, we need some entities. So if we would like to do voice controlling of Home Assistant, of our smart home, we need entities to switch. So some lights or some temperature values we can ask the value for. So uh, as you can see, or as you have seen already uh, by now, the overview of the dashboard is pretty empty. And uh, now it's time to change this and add some demo entities. And this is pretty simple. Uh, there's an integrated option for that. So just add demo to the configuration jumble, save it. And uh, let's go to developer tools, check the configuration, no error, restart home assistant. And when we do this, now home assistant should automatically generate some demonstration entities and objects we can play around with. Restart of Home Assistant completed. So let's go back to the overview dashboard. And now you can see we have lots of demo entities. We can add voice control or at first textual assistant control to. And that's the basis for the next upcoming video. So we have a fresh new installation of Home Assistant. We added some demo entities. And in the next videos, we will add voice control or assistant control in general to this fresh installation. So please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, hitting the notification bell to not miss the next upcoming videos on this series, Home Assistant Loves the Voice. And if you liked that video, please give this video a thumb up. Let me know in the comments on what you think. And if you like, we might see us next time. Bye.